The topic of penis size frequently pops up in conversations, from its often exaggerated portrayals in media to more hushed personal discussions. It's a subject that can spark both a sense of pride and, unfortunately, a lot of insecurity. But beyond all the chatter and the myths, what do women truly desire when it comes to penis length? Is this widespread pursuit of extreme dimensions rooted in reality, or is it based on a fundamental misconception? I'm Dr. Jenny, and today we're going to cut through all the noise, all the speculation, and examine what science actually reveals about women's genuine preferences in penis length. For too long, discussions about penis size preferences have been dominated by anecdotes, assumptions, or even just locker room talk. But fascinatingly, several rigorous studies have delved into women's preferences regarding penis length, often by analyzing the real-world sales data of popular sex toys. Why this approach? Well, the rationale is quite clever. Actual purchases might offer a far more realistic and unbiased insight into preferences compared to self-reported desires. Think about it. When consumers are actively selecting products for their own personal use, presumably for vaginal insertion, their choices are likely to reflect their true inclinations rather than what they think they should say or what societal pressures might imply. One particularly compelling study which meticulously analyzed product data from eight prominent sex toy distributors, made some interesting observations. It found that the most frequently purchased insertive lengths typically range between 4 to 6 inches. Even more telling, on six of these eight popular websites, the average length of sold sex toys was consistently less than 6 inches, and the average girth was less than 4.5 inches. These figures, it's crucial to note, generally align quite closely with what is considered the average size of a male penis. This suggests a strong correlation between what's readily available and what's actively being chosen for personal satisfaction. Now, as we continue, a quick note. If you'd like even more clear, science-backed insights to help you take better care of your body and mind as you age, consider subscribing. I share practical, trustworthy advice just like this, and there's a lot more to come. Another significant study investigated realistic dildos, specifically focusing on those designated as bestsellers on the top five online adult retailers in the United States, as well as on Amazon.com. The average insertive length of the dildos compiled from this extensive research was approximately 16.7 centimeters, or about 6.5 inches. This is slightly longer than the average length of a typical male penis, which brings up an interesting point. While people might opt for something a little bit more than average when given the choice, it's still far from the extreme ends often fantasized about. However, while analyzing sex toy popularity offers a unique and illuminating perspective, another study introduced an important caveat. It found that sex toy sales were often influenced more by price and circumference than by other realistic features like insertable length. In fact, and this is quite revealing, Toys with a larger circumference were reportedly less popular than those with a more average girth. This highlights that while length is a factor, it's not the only, or even necessarily the primary, driver of purchasing decisions for pleasure. The comfort and fit of girth seem to play a very significant role. Now, as we continue, a quick note. If you'd like even more clear, science-backed insights to help you take better care of your body and mind as you age, consider subscribing. I share practical, trustworthy advice just like this, and there's a lot more to come. So, based on this collective science-backed data, a clear and consistent picture emerges. It appears that the vast majority of women are quite satisfied, and indeed, often prefer, an average length and girth penis. When given the freedom to choose almost any size imaginable when purchasing products online, a truly uninhibited environment for expressing preference, most consumers consistently gravitate towards items that are either average in length or perhaps only slightly longer than average, combined with an average girth. They're not going for extremes. They're going for what feels good and is comfortable. Therefore, the clear and empowering takeaway is this. If you fall within the average range or comfortably on the bell curve of average measurements, you are considered completely normal and perfectly adequate, 
Any partner should be genuinely happy and satisfied with this, as it aligns with what the science suggests brings the most pleasure and comfort. While outliers will always exist, and occasional comments or jokes about size might surface in pop culture or casual conversations, the undeniable reality is that when individuals are making choices for their own profound pleasure, they are rarely, if ever, seeking dimensions at the extreme ends of either length or girth. Scientific data overwhelmingly suggests that when it comes to penis length and girth, women's preferences largely align with average dimensions, strongly indicating that for most, average is truly optimal for satisfaction. This debunks many of the myths and anxieties that often surround this topic. Your body signals can tell you a lot about your health. If you've noticed your morning erections fading, don't miss our deep dive into the science behind it and what you can do. Click to watch Understanding Morning Wood as You Age for empowering insights.